This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so we're rolling live. Um, so this is going to be a pretty short uh, webinar this morning on Canva. If you haven't used Canva before, it's fantastic for not just, you know, flyer design, marketing stuff. It's also great for resumes or presentations. Or it's, a, it's great for a multitude of purposes. Best of all, it's free to create an account. There are paid versions, but no reason to do that unless you have to. Uh, so the Chamber started a page dedicated to resources for um, information on COVID-19, as well as webinars like this. Uh, they'll be recorded and posted to our page. It's etawachamber.org forward slash COVID-19. Uh, all one word there, but uh, we'll go ahead and get started with the presentation. So I'm going to take off my webcam and we'll get started. So, like I said, um, you guys are all here this morning to learn a little bit about Canva. Uh, it's a great resource for non designers like myself. Uh, my background is mostly. Um, it's something marketing, but not really. It's mostly just kind of background support stuff and events, but um, it's, it's it makes it easy. There are a lot of great templates. It's really easy to use. It's a fantastic thing to use online. It's all it's online online based too. So I'm gonna hop in with creating custom flyers with Canva. Uh, so some of the basic things some of the basic things we'll go over today in the agenda. Uh, just some of the flyer design basics. Uh, where to find just some tutorials in Canva. Uh, just in case you have issues getting started or don't know where to start, uh, some tools and resources, and, and best of all, just a brief uh, you know discovery portion of it, where I'll show you guys how to use Canva uh, through the screen sharing on this webinar. So the following rules apply to many forms of advertising, not just flyers. Um, hop into the first one here. So be readable. So you want your folks to stay you stay focused, remove visual clutter. You don't want, you know, I'm sure you've all seen a flyer that has highlighted crazy text that you just, it just makes you just go, look, I mean, everybody's seen that before. Font guy, uh, let show off to two font families. I mean, I'm sure you've seen examples of, you know, one handout or a flyer or something like that, that has so many different kinds of font. Some are bold, some are italics. It's just, it's just hard to read. It's not pleasant to look at. Um, Personally, I prefer sans serif fonts, but uh, if you see on the screen here on the bottom, that's a serif font with the um, kind of little hang off on the letters. Oh, it's a sans serif. This is clean cut. There's no extra um, uh, extra things on the letters. So, eye catching design. Use some suitable images. Don't limit yourself. Don't use a ton of pictures. One or two is great, just to get the point across. Also, watch copyrights. Um, you know, you can go to Google and search images and download stuff all day, but some stuff is copyrighted, most of it is, and you can get yourself in trouble with that. But luckily, I'll show you guys some information on where to find absolutely free videos, uh, photos, clip art, all that good stuff. Uh, be bright. So use color to attract attention to stand out. So keep your company colors in mind uh, for branding. Canva, you can actually put in your hex codes to use the same colors for your logo. Uh, but you, I think, you, I believe you have to have the the pro version of that though, in order to do that. Best of all, call to action. You want people to see what to do. I mean, tell them what to do. Don't just have, you know, come see me. Say, come see me at one Commerce Square, Gaston, Alabama. You know, or visit me online, like here at the chamber. It's the chamber. Edward Chamber. Edward Chamber. Org. Tell them what they need to do. Be in contact. Be creative. I mean, have fun. Um, get desired block. Canva also offers um, inspiration. They have a great tutorial section. I mean, personally, I love using their templates. The templates are awesome. And you just type in what you're looking for. It could be uh, a lunch invitation or, you know, event flyer or annual meeting poster or something like that. Um, the templates are a great place to start and they're fully customizable, which is the best part of all. And like I said, free tutorials. So you can learn from the ground up. I mean, how to add pictures, add text, all that. Um, and also learn some design tips and tricks with their tutorials, which I'll show you where to find those as well. Um, some tools and resources. So pixabay.com and pexels.com, those are great resources. Uh, Pixabay, they provide royalty-free stock photos, illustrations, vector graphics, which are basically clip art, 
and videos. Uh, Pencils.com is stock photos and stock videos only, but those are free. Um, there are folks that upload those to the websites and they're free to use, free to access. Yeah, it's a great place to go. If you can't find um, images on Canva, Canva has a lot of images already on there for your use. Uh, but however, some have to, some are, are paid versions of those and uh, some of them just aren't as good as you can find somewhere else. But I actually believe uh, we had a, a training on Canva earlier this year for one of our, one of our first Discovery Cafes and someone in the class found a, uh, uh, an image on Canva that was a paid image but also found the same image on Pixabay or Pixel. So, I mean, while we invent the wheel, you can just find the same picture somewhere else. And like I said, some of the tutorial section. Uh, so Canva's kind of got a design school, um, just some quick overviews, just the basic information on that. Also designing, learn how to supercharge your designs and make them look fantastic. And my last slide here is um, once we're finished with this, make sure you mark a calendar and keep an eye out for invites. Uh, next Friday on April the 10th at 10 a.m., I'll be having a webinar on Hootsuite. Hootsuite, you can actually manage your social media content in one place. And so instead of having to jump to uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, instead of to jump to all those separate places, you can schedule your content through one hub. Um, content to, to Hootsuite, social media scheduling, uh, content curation, analytics, and more. Uh, and that's been brought to you by Miranda Farrell. Miranda, I know you guys, most of you guys know Miranda. She's our marketing and operations manager at the Chamber. Um, I just kind of shamelessly stole her profile picture off of our website from our staff page, so I needed a face to put with the, the training. Uh, but that's it for the PowerPoint version of this, and the PowerPoint session of this. So I'm gonna open up Canva on my browser real quick. Okay, so as I mentioned, um, the tutorials page here. Getting started with Canva uh, for education, if you're an educator or teacher. Uh, designing, also the Canva Pro, if you choose to go to a paid version. Uh, branding and presenting. So we'll hop on one of these, just kind of show you guys a sample video of this. Uh, let's see. Let's just choose this one. Getting started on Canva, we'll pop that up here real quick. Thank you. 
So that was just a sample video of how to get started on Canva. Much better you that big old is adorable. Um, my preference is um, boxers. I love boxers. But anyway, so that was just kind of that section of the tutorials. So again, that's canva.com forward slash tutorials. Um, post that in the video chat too, Joe, just so you guys see that. And there's that link if you guys use that if you want to. And if you have questions following the session, just let me know. I'll be happy to email you any links or information you want. Um, so let's hop into Canva and do a uh, just a sample design. One sec. Okay, so once you sign in, um, you just go to canva.com and sign in, create your own account. And from here you go, you can uh, look at your past designs, check out templates, uh, upload photos, uh, print your, um, uh, your designs, and you create designs there. But if you want to just, uh, kind of start from a, um, just, a, a, just a basic start, we'll go here to the designing thing. So as I mentioned earlier, um, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff. So, you know, suggested presentation, Facebook posts, posters, Facebook cover, Instagram posts. Um, landscape poster and flyers. So the best thing about that is you open that up, it's already um, formatted to the correct size. So you're not having to, uh, to scale down, scale up. It's already the correct size for what you're selecting. Uh, for today, it's just gonna be a quick run through. We'll just go to lunch temptation. I did one recently. Um, let's see. There's some samples. If you guys see those right there, um, let's see which one. Which one do I want to choose from here? Uh, this looks pretty close here. So what you'll do is just click that, and it will auto-populate. It's kind of slow. We're on the webinar in this both, but yeah. So you guys see that there? Once it loads up, there we go. Okay, so you can replace this picture in the background. Uh, you can change the color of these uh, lines here, change the text format, I mean, the, the font, color of the text, all that. Um, so let's just get started and design one for, I know we have um, our first chamber counts coming up next Tuesday. Uh, it's on finance administration. It's gonna be, we're gonna be talking about um, some of the CARES Act and how it affects your business. So let's just hop into that. Um, the photos here, those are the ones that uh, you can look for photos in Canva. Um, if you see the uh, dollar sign out there, that means to pay for it. The crown there is the, are the, ver are the uh, images available with the pro version. But other ones such as, uh, let's see. You know, a lot of these are want to be um, paid for, it's like. But there's one I recently used, it says freer than the corn, if you can see that on your screen, uh, it'll say it's free. But for this, this is this case, we're actually making something more tailored to a specific event that we're actually doing. Um, you can actually upload your images. So I've already uploaded some as you see there, but all you'll do is go to upload image and it'll pull up your typical desktop thing, you can upload the image from there, and then it'll pop right in there. Um, so let's toss that in there. I don't want that background to be black, so we get the background there, uh, and then you can set the color background. So blue, but not in this case, we're gonna use white, with that background. So just hit white. And you'll go to your uploads again, where I just was, and click and drag that, pop it right in there. And when you pull that in there, you can also resize that a little bit, uh, just to make it fit in there correctly the way you want to. Okay, so that's going there. Clearly, this is not a benefit luncheon. We're helping the kids of LBKF. I'm not sure what that is, but it's at anywhere street in any city. Um, so let's just get the free title. You simply click in there. Um, as you can see, that's all grouped right there. I don't want that grouped. 
So go up here and click ungroup. And it pulls out all separately. So uh, definitely don't want that. So what we'll do is just add it on text. Yeah, it's not the text I want to use. So let me pull up text I do want. Okay. Because I'm personally not fond of all caps text. So to change the text there, a section right there. And there we go. So that should. I'm not sure why it's doing. Oh, that explains why. There we go. You can also adjust the text to be in all caps or low caps right there. So. So it's a little, little small. So I'm going to bump that text size up just a little bit. It's as simple as highlight over that. And choose your text size there. And if you've ever used uh, Microsoft Publisher or uh, Word, it's pretty similar. That's real big text I don't want. I'm just going to stick to the same text for this purpose of this presentation. Um, go. I'm going to bump that down to 24. Size. And we'll just go down here and format this text down here. Um, so this is going to be on Tuesday, April the 7th, 10 a.m. until about 11 a.m. I'll adjust that size here in a second. And in order to RSVP, you'll want to RSVP at middlewatchchamber.org forward slash events. And let's see. That up some. That up some little bit. Oop. And just center that up. That bowl off of there. And I'm not particularly wild about the um, this weird peach background. I'm not real wild about that. So I'm going to change that too. Show you guys how to change that. Um, so let's see here. Uh, I'm just kind of sticking with the, the logo, the logo there with the green as it is. Um, go up here to the corner and you can change that color there. That's pretty close. Um, you can also um, set the transparency on that um, that block there, right there, the uh, top top right there, transparency. You guys see that right there? I'm also not real, I, I will pull something behind there. Um, so I'll show you guys, I think it's on Pexels, I believe. You guys have downloaded a picture on Pexels. And since this uh, presentation we're doing or, uh, next Tuesday is going to be from a, an accounting firm, 
Let's stop and count them on pixels. I'm trying to um, just grab the first one that looks good to you. This looks fine. You just click on the picture there, go to free download. Block that. And you can join pixels, but I, I don't want to. Um, let's see. For some reason, it's wanting me to download, I mean, to sign up. Not sure what's in that. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go pick some I did a trial run for this yesterday and it worked just fine, so that's strange. And if you'll notice here, also this top line uh, right through there, I'm highlighting right there. Um, they try and trick you a little bit. Um, some of those images at the top are sponsored by Shuttershock and they are paid images. But here's one uh, from Pixabay. You just open the picture there and you can choose your size of the image. I just stick with the one that comes with it. Um, of course, not a robot. Let that download. And then as you see a little download right there. So we're back to Canva over here, and what you'll do right where you're at now, you'll go to upload an image or video. And you download the folder right there. And you'll see it pops up right there. So when it's uploaded there, you can uh, toss it right there and it will, it's not cooperating. There we go. So I don't want that on front of everything. So what I want to do is, let's see. So that's not where I want it to be at. But you can click and drag this up there where you want to. It's not, I don't feel like text box for me, even though I didn't want to. So in case that happens, just go here to elements. And there's different elements you can use. Uh, so I want to take that off of there. So I don't want that. It's not very good for the contrast. So we're just going to toss this over top of that picture there and size it up for that and then change the color. on. And we can go position here and you can send it to the front, send it to the back. Um, so right now I want to send it to the back. And go back there and select that. There we go. So you can do as much transparency you want to. For this case, you know, a little darker. That's pretty good there. That's a good contrast between the picture in the back and then the, uh, the text. It's kind of nice looking right there. Um, so that's kind of a rough run through of, um, uh, of Canva. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the chat. Um, I think that wraps up the um, uh, the tutorial on Canva for us. So if you guys have any questions, uh, I'll say a question here possibly. Oh, Sheila says cool. It's not a question, but I'll take cool. That's not good too. <laughs> um, but that's really it for Canva, guys. Um, again, like I mentioned, I'll actually show you some more information on uh, what else you can do in here. Because that was just a brief thing on how to make a flyer. So if you have an event coming up, you know, um, if you have a cell phone luncheon, breakfast, you know, afternoon tea, whatever it is, um, you can choose that. But you can also do eight and a half by 11 flyers, uh, rap cards, uh, invitations, Facebook cover photos, postcards. It's amazing what all you can do. So I mentioned re resume earlier. You literally just top in whatever you want, resume. and all kinds of great templates come up. 
all of which you can edit the um, Maria Hayes, or will we be able to share this recording? Yes, ma'am, Maria. Um, as soon as we're done with the session today, um, it's, uh, Good Meeting will uh, will save the recording for us, and then I'm going to post it on the um, on the uh, our, our website. It's going to be it's going to be if you open up the chamber website, it's edwardchamber.org. It will um, the first slide on there will be our our COVID nineteen resources. Let me pull up that page real quick. And I'll just post a link in the chat. Hang on one second. You guys haven't seen this page. I highly suggest you check it out. Um, there's information on business resources, community resources, food and drink. Uh, also, a fantastic resource uh, source of information for things going on with your businesses right now. Um, but anyway, so I'm just going to copy that link and put it in the chat here for you guys if you want to check that page out. Um, but if it's on this page, it says assistance programs, and right here it says recorder webinars. Click on that; it takes you to the bottom. It takes you to the bottom of the page. There's all the webinars the chamber has recorded so far um, by date, and the one from today will be somewhere here towards the bottom. Uh, but it'll, it even takes a while to. Um, uh, for them to get the recording uh, finalized and sent to us. But as soon as we get the link to that, we'll have it posted there so you guys can rewatch that. Um, and, if, and if you have any questions as far as you know where to find the tutorials or where to find anything, just email me. Um, you guys have an email address, I'll put it in here too. I mean, you guys have an email address because I email you all the time. Just not, hey, just not, just not as much over the past few weeks. <laughs> Let's see. And there's my email address if you got the for any reason to shoot me an email to ask about a link to anything. Um, but back to you know back to camp, the resume is there. Click on any of those, you can edit the um, edit the colors, edit the text, whatever you want. Let's go to mm, that's a little bit it's kind of loud, but whatever. We'll go to Matt Zen. <clears throat> and again, it is auto populate right there for you. I don't suggest using this kind of resume because it looks kind of crazy. But if you were, you can go here to select any part of this you want to. Um, so that's blue there. You know, you want to change that not to blue, change to red. You don't want that? Change it to green. See? And go in there and you can um, let's see, zoom in some. Change any of that that you want to. Uh, change the Change the uh, the font size, font style, all that good stuff. It's it's great. You can't use Canva before. I mean, right now we have more a little more time on our hands than we used to. We're not you know all running around like crazy anymore. So it might be a good time to kind of learn that and check that out. Um, so are there any more questions or anything? And you guys feel free to mute yourself too. Yes, Maria. Uh, and all. Maria asked, and all that you are showing us is the free version. Yes, ma'am, Maria. Um, that's all a free version. Canva's got a paid version, um, but like I said earlier, I don't see a point in using that. If, if you can get it for free, then why pay for it? Unless you have to, unless you're going to be using it a lot. It's kind of, if, you, if you, anybody's ever used um, Microsoft Publisher before, um, it's really similar to that. Um, I started, now I, I don't know by, all, by any means, I don't know that much about Canva. I just know the bare bones basics just to get me through. Um, but um, it's kind of like Publisher. It's not quite as quite as clunky, I guess you could say. Um, it's a little more user friendly. Like, you know, you just, and it's, it's great for templates. You just grab a template and pop it in there and edit it however you see fit. And they have a lot of great templates on there too. And also save your designs. Uh, I don't think I mentioned how to save your designs. So go to uh, all your designs. And there's some I've done in the past there, uh, but here's the one that um, I just finished doing earlier. All you do is open that up. You can save it as a PDF or a uh, PNG or JPEG. So just when you're finished with it there, just go up here to uh, download. And it'll ask you file top. Yeah, they, they suggest PDF. Most of the time, if I ever design anything in Canva, I just usually I, I, um, save it as a JPEG or a PNG. Uh, but you know, just hit PNG and then download, and it'll take a second to to, uh, to process. 
and then bam, download them. And then you just open up a Dallas folder and whoop, open them up other screen. And there it is. Simple as that. And then it's your things however you want to. So any more questions, concerns, feedback, comments? So no more questions, it looks like. Um, oh, oh, well, thank you, Philip. I'm assuming this is Philip Hall because it has one L. So. <laughs> but um, if there's no more questions, um, thank you guys for coming. Appreciate y'all attending this morning's uh, Canva webinar. If you have any questions at all, just email me. It's My email address is in the chat there. It's will.mackey at edwachamber.org. I also suggest checking out the um, the Chamber's COVID-19 page. It's more than just bad news. There's a lot of good news. Uh, some of the places they're doing the uh, curbside pickup, uh, to go, business resources, community resources. It's a great, it's a great place to find everything. Um, and a lot of what we're doing now, if you guys want to relate the message to anyone you know, we're offering our webinar now to members and non-members both, just because the Chamber believes it's important that we take care of our community, not just members. Um, so you guys, with that being said, take care. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to just shoot me an email. Um, you guys take it easy and I'll have this webinar posted up uh, sometime today as soon as um, as soon as they send us the link after going to meetings and processing it. But again, appreciate you guys. Stay safe, take care, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys soon enough when all of this is over, guys. Y'all have a good day. Bye.